This is Gadget at the TechStop.net, the place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm Father Robert Balliser. I'm a priest in the Society of Jesus. It's a religious order of the Catholic Church, and I'm back here in Washington, D.C., but not for long. You see, I've been on the road a lot, and that partially explains why there's been a trickle of Gadget episodes recently. But that's not the only reason. You see, CES was crazy. In fact, it was crazy times 10. And we're still releasing CES episodes a month and a half later, but that's partially because some really cool stuff has happened since, well, the new year. Now, right before Christmas, I had the opportunity to be on the Tech News Today TNT call-in show, and uh, that sparked some cool stuff. Thanks to you. Thanks to your comments. Thanks to you writing in. And thanks to you asking Twit for, well, Father Robert. They asked me to come back as a guest host in the Twit Brick House in Petaluma, California. And so that's what I did in February. You, you can see a little bit of the clip back there. Now, they liked it so much that they've asked me to come back. So you can expect to see more gadget goodness in the Tech News Today goodness on the Twit Network. Again, how cool is that? I get to play tech professional at least for a couple of days out of the year. Now, I don't want to leave you hanging because there is a lot of tech coming through the Gadget Labs. And as you can see, there's, there's a lot of it next to me. I have to start with this. This is the Acer Aspire S3. This is Acer's first entry into the Ultrabook category of notebooks. Now, that was a new standard put out by Intel. Of course, it, it seems to be very MacBook Air inspired. Now, I don't want to start a flame war because I know there were PCs that had this format before the MacBook Air, but let's be honest, it really made it popular. Now, it's spec'd like a MacBook Air. CPU, memory, hard drive space. It's got the same dimensions as a MacBook Air, about the same thinness, about the same weight. It even has Intel's really cool Instant On technology, which is, you know, right now it's off, and well, I just open up like this, and in just a second or two, it's ready to go. So it's got all of this going for it, and yet it's priced at about 60 to 50% of a comparable MacBook Air. Not bad, especially if you're a PC person who wants that MacBook Air experience. The second thing has to be this. This is the Andrea SB205, Super Bean 205 earbuds. Now they look like standard earbuds, but there is secret sauce. That secret sauce is the experience that Andrea brings to the table, having created these headphones and these headsets for pilots for so many years. If you look at the earbuds themselves, they've got that strange shape, but they're a little bit larger, which means they can do some more bass development, what you'd get over a, a standard set of earbuds. But they've also got microphones built into the tips, which means that when you put them into your ear, it creates this sort of cone of silence in front of your face. It takes the input from those two microphones, combines them in the Andrea Commander software, and is programmed to recognize what speech sounds like. And it pulls just that out. It sounds really, really good. In fact, I use these for the TNT call-in show, and uh, well, the, the effect is, well, irrefutable. It's good. It works well. You'll see more of it on the show. Now, beyond that, we've also got this. This is the ReadyNAS NV Plus version 2. New in this box is not just some uh, souped-up hardware, but also an interface that is now much more user-friendly. In fact, we covered it a little bit when I visited the uh, Netgear headquarters last year, and uh, we'll be able to see exactly how it has performed over the last couple of months in production. As always, we tried to bring you the best of the best. Speaking of cool storage, it's not here on the table because it's currently in the torture chamber, but we've also got a look at IOSafe's rugged portable. We saw an early version of it last year at CES when a few of us took shotguns to it, and this year we saw it at CES when they were zapping it with a couple of million volts. We, we actually had Dr. Megavolt take it into a Tesla cage and see exactly how much torture it could endure. We also got a care package from our friends over at Swingline who thought we were spending a bit too much time concentrating on the pure uber geeky stuff and they wanted something that was maybe for uh, the office geek. And so they sent us this. What looks like a printer or a small tank is actually one of the coolest shredders I have ever seen. Now, granted, I I'm used to the bargain basement shredder. It's something that just makes a couple of strips. This is one of their top of the line cross cut shredders designed for the small office, for the home office. Now, the cool thing about this is that it's got a huge capacity. It's got the ability to just drop a tray of pages into the uh, the upper tray here and let it do its thing. It's also got a feeder that can accept credit cards, papers with paper clips or with staples, and a big old bin, you know, because you need some place to put it. And it's cross-cut, which means that when it shreds, it's really gone. Now, we are going to see all of this tech in uh, well, an episode or two of, of Gadget coming up. 
you're going to see laptops, you're going to see storage, you're going to see shredding, you're going to see high-end audio, you're, you're going to see some matrix switches for video, you're going to see some stuff that I haven't even unpacked yet. So stay tuned, because we've got all this gadget goodness coming at you. I'm Father Robert, and remember, there's no Uber Geek without you.